Infliximab is a monoclonal anti-tumor necrosis factor alpha antibody used in the treatment of a wide variety of inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, and ankylosing spondylitis. In this video, let's find found. What is infliximab? What is infliximab used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking infliximab? How does infliximab work? How to use infliximab? What is infliximab? Infliximab, a chimeric monoclonal antibody, sold under the brand name Remicade among others, is a medication used to treat a number of autoimmune diseases. This includes Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, psoriasis, psoriatic arthritis, and Basset's disease. Infliximab was approved for medical use in the United States in 1998 and in the European Union in August 1999. Infliximab biosimilars have been approved in the EU, 2013, in Japan, 2014, and in the United States, 2016, 2017, 2019. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. What is infliximab used for? Indicated for reducing signs and symptoms and inducing and maintaining clinical remission in adult or pediatric, greater than or equal to 6 years of age, patients with moderately to severely active Crohn's disease who have had an inadequate response to conventional therapy. Indicated reducing the number of draining enterocutaneous and rectovaginal fistulas and maintaining fistula closure in adult patients with fistulizing Crohn's disease. Indicated for reducing signs and symptoms, inducing and maintaining clinical remission and mucosal healing, and eliminating corticosteroid use in adult or pediatric, then or equal to 6 years of age, patients with moderately to severely active ulcerative colitis who have had an inadequate response to conventional therapy. Indicated for, in combination with methotrexate, reducing signs and symptoms, inhibiting the progression of structural damage and improving physical function in patients with moderately to severely active rheumatoid arthritis. Indicated for reducing signs and symptoms in patients with active ankylosing spondylitis. Indicated for reducing signs and symptoms of active arthritis, inhibiting the progression of structural damage, and improving physical function in patients with sore arthritis. Indicated for the treatment of adult patients with chronic severe, i.e., extensive and or disabling, plaque psoriasis who are candidates for systemic therapy and when other systemic therapies are medically less appropriate. Contraindication Heart failure, NYHA class 3-4, according to the American Heart Association, TNF inhibitors may cause myocardial toxicity or exacerbate the underlying myocardial dysfunction. Previous hypersensitivity reaction to infliximab. Current severe infection, sepsis, tuberculosis. Active infection. Side effects. Infliximab has adverse effects, some life-threatening, common to drugs in the class of TNF-inhibiting immunosuppressants, which also includes etanercept, embril, and adalimumab, humira. Some of the most severe are. Serious infections. Reactivation of hepatitis B reactivation of tuberculosis. Lethal hepatosplenic T-cell lymphoma, generally only when combined with 6-mercaptopurine. Drug-induced lupus. Demyelinating central nervous system disorders. Psoriasis and psoriasiform skin lesions. Nuance at vitiligo. Pharmacodynamic. Infliximab disrupts the activation of pro-inflammatory cascade signaling. Infliximab has shown to reduce infiltration of inflammatory cells into sites of inflammation. It also attenuates the expression of molecules mediating cellular adhesion, including E-selectin, intercellular adhesion molecule 1, ICAM1, and vascular cell adhesion molecule 1, VCAM1, chemoattraction, IL-8 and monocyte chemotactic protein, MCP1, and tissue degradation, matrix metalloproteinase, MMP, 1 and 3. Mechanism of Action Infliximab is a IgG1 kappa monoclonal antibody that binds to soluble and transmembrane forms of TNF-alpha with high affinity to disrupt the pro-inflammatory cascade signaling. 
Binding of the antibody to TNF-alpha prevents TNF-alpha from interacting with its receptors. Infliximab does not neutralize TNF-beta, lymphotoxin alpha, a related cytokine that utilizes the same receptors as TNF-alpha. Blocked actions of TNF-alpha further leads to downregulation of local and systemic pro-inflammatory cytokines, i.e. IL-1, IL-6, reduction of lymphocytes and leukocyte migration to sites of inflammation, induction of apoptosis of TNF-producing cells, i.e. activated monocytes and T-lymphocytes, increased levels of nuclear factor kappa B inhibitor, and reduction of reduction of endothelial adhesion molecules and acute phase proteins. Its inhibitory actions on NF-alpha were demonstrated in human fibroblasts, endothelial cells, neutrophils, B and lymphocytes, and epithelial cells. Infliximab also attenuates the production of tissue-degrading enzymes synthesized by synoviocytes and or chondrocytes. According to a transgenic mice study that developed polyarths due to constitutive levels of human TNF-alpha, infliximab decreased synovitis and joint erosions in collagen-induced arthritis and allows eroded joints to heal. Pharmacodynamic Infliximab disrupts the activation of pro-inflammatory cascade signaling. Infliximab has shown to reduce infiltration of inflammatory cells into sites of inflammation. It also attenuates the expression of molecules mediating cellular adhesion, including E-selectin, intercellular adhesion molecule 1, ICAM1, and vascular cell adhesion molecule 1, DCAM1, chemoattraction, IL-8 and monocyte chemotactic protein, MCP1, and tissue degradation, matrix metalloproteinase, MMP, 1 and 3. Dose. Rheumatoid arthritis. Remicade, Inflectra, Renflexus, Ixify, Avsola. Indicated for reducing signs and symptoms, inhibiting the progression of structural damage, and improving physical function in patients with moderately to severely active rheumatoid arthritis in patient with methotrexate. 3 mg per kilogram 4 at 0, 2, and 6 weeks, then Q8 weeks thereafter. If incomplete response is noted, dose may be increased to 10 mg per kilogram or increasing the dosing frequency to Q4 weeks. Psoriatic arthritis. Remicade, Inflectra, Renflexus, Ixify, Avsola. Indicated for reducing signs and symptoms of active arthritis, inhibiting the progression of structural damage, and improving physical function in patients with psoriatic arthritis. 5 mg per kilogram 4 at 0. 2, 6 weeks, then Q8 weeks thereafter. May be used with methotrexate. Plaque psoriasis. Remicade, Inflectra, Renflexus, Ixify, Avsola. Indicated for the treatment of adult patients with chronic severe, i.e., extensive and or disabling, plaxis who are candidates for systemic therapy and when other systemic therapies are medically less appropriate should only be administered to patients who will be closely monitored and have regular follow-up visits with a physician. 5 mg per kilogram 4 at 0, 2, and 6 weeks, then Q8 weeks thereafter. Can be used with or without methotrexate. Safety Advice Although marked as Pregnancy Category B by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, Infliximab has not been tested in animal reproductive models because it does not cross-react with TNF-alpha in species other than humans and chimpanzees. That's all the information about Infliximab we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.